Science Everyday Materials Lesson 2 Properties of Materials So what is a material? Can you remember from last week? A material is the matter that objects are made from. So let's remind ourselves about some of the materials we learnt about last week. Can you point to the correct material when I shout them out? Wood Glass Metal Plastic Rock And fabric Now let's have a look at a few of the materials in some more detail. But before we do that, let's have a think about which words we can use to describe the materials. Let's start by thinking about opposites. Opposite means that something is completely different. Like the opposite of big is small. Let's see if you can shout out the opposites of some of these words. Hard, like a diamond. The opposite of hard is soft, like a teddy bear. Stretchy, like a rubber toy. The opposite of stretchy is stiff, like a pencil. Shiny, like some tin foil. The opposite of shiny is dull, like a grey piece of paper. Rough, like the bark on a tree. The opposite of rough is smooth, like a smooth pebble on the beach. Bendy, like a slinky. The opposite of bendy is rigid, like a rigid piece of wood. Waterproof like an umbrella. The opposite of waterproof is not waterproof, like some paper. Absorbent, like a sponge that soaks up the water. The opposite of absorbent is non-absorbent, like a raincoat. Opaque. Opaque means that you can't see through it, like a piece of black paper. The opposite of, of opaque is transparent, like a window that you can see all the way through. Now that we know some great describing words, let's see if we can use them when we're discussing the properties of materials. Are you ready? Let's go! The first material we're going to look at is metal. Now, I would like you to pause this video and go and have a look around you now and see if you can find something metal. So here's what I found. A paper clip, some scissors, a bunch of keys and a spoon. Did you find anything the same as me? Or did you find something different? Well done! Next we're going to have a look at some of the properties of metal. Metal comes from rocks. Metal is strong, shiny and opaque. Have a look at the piece that you found. Is it shiny? When heated, metal can be shaped into anything from a tiny paper clip to a huge bus. The next material we're going to look at is wood. So again, I want you to pause this video now and look around you and see if you can find anything made from wood. So here's what I found. A wooden box. A pencil. A picture frame and my table. Did you find anything the same as me or did you find something different? Well done! Next we're going to look at some of the properties of wood. 
Wood comes from trees. Wood is hard and strong. Have a look at the piece that you found. Does it feel hard? Wood is rough, but it can be sanded down to make it smooth and turned into objects like chairs, cupboards and doors. The final material we're going to have a look at is glass. So pause this video now and have a look around you and see if you can find anything made from glass. So make sure you're being very careful because we all know, don't we, glass is really fragile and it can break. So here's what I found. A glass, the window, a pair of glasses and some marbles. Did you find anything the same as me or did you find something different? Well done! Now let's look at the properties of glass. Glass is made from very fine sand. Glass is strong and transparent. Can you see through the piece of glass that you found? Glass can be fragile if it is thin like a glass ornament, but it can also be super strong like the glass in windows. I hope you enjoyed learning about the properties of materials. You worked really hard. Go to Love to Learn with Miss Ellis for lots more videos and remember to subscribe. Bye for now.